My name is Cole Kakaro34 and here today to talk about some new, well, some news that's about two days old. Uh, Drake Hall Raptor Hanigangi uh, was named, uh, well, if you don't know what that is, um, in 2014, springtime, uh, two brothers, amateur fossil hunters, found um, a very complete skeleton of a theropod, uh, actually one of the earliest theropods in Britain, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, lived the, during the um, early Jurassic period. And, um, well, it's been named... It's been given the name Draco Raptor Hanagangi, or the dra or the um, the Dragon Robber. Um, I don't know what the species name means. Uh, I think it was something. I think it was meant to name uh, being named after someone. Oh yeah, it was named after the Hanagang brothers. Uh, yeah, uh, they they were the per they were the people who discovered it. And um, basically, we got some news on it. First of all. Um, Obviously, it's been named. Uh, second of all, apparently it's a very distant relative to Tyrannosaurus Rex, but then again, that's just the media. So, and uh, looking at the specimen, it's probably not as close as it's not. It's not really. I don't think it's really a distant cousin to um, Tyrannosaurus, but um, it, it looks more. It looks more. It could be Coelosaurian or uh, Ceratosaurian, you know that kind of thing. And um, the cool thing about this one is that. Um, the specimen, which is about 70 centimeters in length, um, they've also said it's probably it's it's definitely a juvenile. So this boy was a juvenile when it died. Um, so what does this mean? Well, second, first of all, we can get some. Um, we, well, we've got a juvenile specimen, which is brilliant because then if we find an adult specimen, we can see the differences between the. Um, the juvenile and the adult through the bone morphologies and the osteology of it and second of all it go, it's, it's quite big if uh, estimates of this creature's full size have been about uh two meters which is not bad which is not bad for a uh, theropod um at that time um because at the time you would have had uh, in north america large uh predators like dilophosaurus um in asia you would have had cynosaurus um I think in India you would have had Draco Veneta, and now you've got Draco Raptor up in Britain. Uh, so maybe Dra Draco Raptor was probably might have, it might have been uh, a top predator in where it lived, but then again I could be wrong. Um, but from the looks of this specimen, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I don't actually have any pictures of the specimen, but it's it's quite small. Um, it's only about well. Seven centimeters is what, just over two foot, so that's not bad for a predator. So yeah, it's not bad, um, but it's a really good uh, addition to the paleontology um, additions in Britain. Um, I'm glad to have uh, this animal named, uh, just because, well, for two years we haven't we haven't heard a name from it. Um, so it's brilliant to have a name for this dinosaur, and hopefully in the coming years um, it'll, you know, uh, gain some. Um, I don't know cultural very uh, cultural uh, respect and maybe even um, show us the way of maybe how theropods evolved and where their lineage uh, derives from in Britain. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be up with a video later. I've got quite a bit of news to go through, so I'll be uh, back in a bit uh, basically. So I shall see you later. Bye bye.